Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. The market is going through a highly volatile phase, and this uh, volatility is likely to continue in the near term. Globally, stock markets will be keenly watching the commentary from the Fed Chief Jerome Powell today. A rate cut from the Fed is unlikely today. At the beginning of this year, the markets were expecting the Fed to cut in March, followed by some four rate cuts in 2024. But the scenario has changed since the U.S. inflation has not declined during the last two months, contrary to expectations. So, with the commentary by the Fed is important. If the Fed sends a hawkish message, that is, concern over stubborn inflation and the possibility of only two rate cuts this year, the stock markets will react negatively. On the other hand, if the Fed signals confidence in inflation control, the market will remain resilient. So the uh, trends from the mother market, U.S., are important. Coming to our market, Nifty has corrected by around seven hundred points during the last six trading days. Corrections in the mid and small cap segments have been sharper. This is in response to the regulator SEBI's. Warnings about frothy valuations in these segments. Investors should understand that corrections are good. Corrections make the market healthy. One way uptrend and elevated valuations are risky and make the market vulnerable to big correction or even a crash. Some mid caps continue to have um, excessive valuations. Their P/E ratios are above hundred, totally unwarranted. The reason is that their floating stock is very low. In some PSU stocks in manufacturing, the government holds eighty-five to ninety-three percentage of the equity capital. So. The floating stock is limited. When the floating stock is very low, that is, the supply is limited, sustained buying can push up valuations too high. This has happened in some segments. This is not sustainable. Investors sitting on big profits in the mid and small cap segments. Can consider some more profit booking, even after the recent corrections. In large caps, buy on dips strategy can be adopted.